Dead. Thunder, like you've never imagined. To American Truck Simulator. I'm David Steele and here's my truck. It's a Macar. But I'm not planning on doing any driving of this truck in today's video because instead I want to take a few minutes just to talk about a little $7 utility available on the Steam Workshop that I've been able to use to quite dramatically smooth how well version 1.5 of American Truck Simulator runs. Okay, well, this is not going to be the most technical video on the subject ever, um, but it was a little couple of little tricks that I tried, and actually it seems to have worked. So, the utility is called uh, Lossless Scaling. It's available on the Steam Workshop, and I will leave uh, a link to that uh, in the description below. First things first, let's go ahead and just uh, close uh, ATS. Here, let's go ahead and close. Right. Closes. Okay, so this is my Windows desktop, and yes, I am blessed to have uh, an ultra wide. Now, ATS and in fact ETS2 are limited by the CPU performance on my system. Uh, and um, the biggest sign of this is I'm running the game. Um, I can look at what my CPU is doing and one core is pegged at 100%. And the GPU is not working particularly hard, depending on the circumstance it might be. But generally it's, uh, I don't want to call it a slacker, but it's a slacker. This is a limit of the technology that SCS uses behind the game. They use uh, DX11, or DX11 runs on my machine, and that can only use uh, one or two CPU calls. Great, I've got eight cores and another eight virtual cores, but that doesn't matter. So SCS are working on an update to the game engine to bring it up to DX12, and that hopefully will improve things. But meanwhile, what can we do? You see, if you're CPU limited, you can change as many graphic settings as you like, and generally you're not going to make that much of a difference. If you reduce your draw distance, that, that could have a factor, but that's not something that uh, I'm very able to do in ATS. So my technique has been to um, cap my frame rate, typically at 60 frames a second. Now, if you like your ultra-high frame rates, um, you're probably not an avid player of American Truck Simulator because you don't need 300 um, frames per second to enjoy this game. It runs great at 60, it's playable at 30, can be a little sluggish, but okay. So what can we do? Well, lossless scaling, it has, well, there is a way we can use lossless scaling to really smooth things out. And now, this is just talking from personal experience. I notice a change in frame rate much more than I notice a, a, a higher or lower frame rate. So if my game is running at a steady 60 frames per second and suddenly drops down to 25 or 30, I notice that. that that's, a, that's very obvious. But if my game is running at 60 frames a second and I then change a setting and it runs at 144 frames a second, yeah, I notice it, but very quickly I get used to it. Yes, I get it. Going from 144 to 60 can feel kind of slow and painful. But in ATS and ETS2, it's not an action game. It's not that, that, that kind of game. So, here we have lossless scaling showing on my machine. I actually set up a profile uh, for this. What we're going to do is bring this towards the, the, the center. I'm not going to maximize it. I have a silly high resolution display. It's probably going to be hard to read. But the long and short are, uh, I don't need to use any scaling on this system. So scaling mode is auto. 
auto aspect ratio that's just the default scaling type we've got a variety of options here and some of these could help you I don't need to use anything right now so I'm going to turn uh, scaling type to be off frame generation well we got a choice off LSF 2.1 or LSF G 1.1 2.1 is the later version let's go ahead and use that there is a perform mode I don't need to do this and I'm just going to leave everything else, almost everything else, at the default. We scroll down, multi display mode. I turn that on because I do have uh, two, three monitors actually, my bad. Other than that, everything else is exactly set how it is. Now, for American Truck Simulator, you can have uh, this automatically launch when you load the game. We'll come on to that in a little bit. There's another couple of things that we really need to do. Um, recommended by the, the developer of the uh, of the game and this in my case I've got an Nvidia graphics card so go ahead and jump into the Nvidia control panel so I've got Windows 11 with its very helpful show more options here right click on desktop show more options go to Nvidia control panel thanks Microsoft for making that extra difficult when that fires up dum 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 okay so we go to manage 3D settings at the top left. I would like to use the follow settings, great. Go ahead and click on program settings and find lossless scaling. And I've already added it and it happens to be right here. Superb, okay. A couple of things that we really wanna do. The first thing that we wanna do is uh, go to the bottom and find your Vulkan OpenGL present method and change that to be preferred layered on a DXGI swap chain. What does this mean? I'm glad you asked. I have no idea. But uh, the DXGI is, is mentioned um, across on the right here, Capture API DXGI. So I guess you're forcing it to use the preferred technique. The second thing we want to do, assuming that your primary display is the one that's connected to your, to your discrete nvidia card and i mean surely it is because you wouldn't use your integrated intel graphics to run ads right you need to uh, go ahead and tell um, nvidia to run this program in its uh, prefer maximum performance mode so power management mode and you can hit prefer maximum performance just go ahead and go into here and change it right so but let me go ahead and just change this to normal and then see if we can change it back to maximum. Okay, so once you've made those, those changes, you need to click apply like so, and give it a little bit. There we go, that's that so lock down those, those settings here. And now the next change, and this, this next change without doing this, it, it, it won't really work as you want it to. You go ahead and you fire a control simulator to that. Give that a second. And yeah, answer SDK, dum dum dum. Okay, so you may not have seen this on YouTube, but my screen just, just flickered. And right now, uh, SCS, uh, I've set up both, both my SCS games to lock the frame rate at 60 frames per second. Well, that's the maximum frame rate that, that they're gonna allow. And lots of scaling has doubled that. So now it's running at 120 Hertz. I don't need it to run at 120 Hz. That my game is not able to consistently maintain 60 frames a second. So I get those slowdowns. It goes down to sort of mid 30s. Occasionally it'll drop into the 20s. And I got a 10th gen Core i7 here with an RTX 3080 Ti. So should I really be experiencing these slowdowns? Doesn't matter about that. It's fine. I can fix it mostly. So go into options. go into your graphics mindsets to, to do that as default okay great i am going to go ahead i'm leaving vertical syn synchronization disabled i haven't noticed that this makes that much of a difference um and then your fps limit mine said is 60 you put that down to 30. what oh, that will do dum, 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 dum. okay like so and i'm just gonna hit apply now it likely won't be showing on the display but now the, the game is only trying to generate up to 30 frames per second, but loss of scaling is gonna double that to 60. 
And assuming that you have enough horsepower in your machine to handle 30 frames a second in the game, you're going to get a steady 60 frames per second most of the time. Now, I do occasionally see a drop below 60, typically San Francisco at night in the rain, and I do notice those, but it's a whole lot smoother. So once you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my home. I'm actually going to quit the game. I don't need to worry too much about showing that off. I suppose I could, but I'm not going to. So, uh, very simply, that is how I've used um, lossless scaling to uh, let my game run at half the frame weight and have this little utility double it. There's some overhead uh, in the frame uh, in, in the GPU performance. So um, if you're only just about capable of maintaining 30 frames a second uh, anyway before you do this, you're likely to see that drop a little bit. The drop is maybe 5 to 15% um, is, is what I'm reading. Thankfully, I can typically maintain 60 frames a second, say typically, to 1.5. Great. Well, very quick and dirty introduction to how you can use lossless scaling. Like I say, I'll put a link to this in the description. Um, there's not a demo version available, but you could refund it if it doesn't work for you. And uh, go ahead and have a go. So, hope you enjoyed this little snip. And uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.